How do you yeah, say it? Which is weird. Li kut li ete. Kut li ete. For us, it's koteli. Koteli? What? That is so <laughs> close. That is like... In today's video, Maggie and I will be exploring the differences between Mauritian Creole and Asian Creole. And you're watching Fiticulture with Carrie's Maggie TV. What up everyone, Carrie's Maggie here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Fida Culture. We are here on season 4 and we're going to start off strong. Today I'm here with an old friend, Kasim, all the way from Mauritius, but she's here in Canada as well. And she's going to help me out with today's video. So thank you so much for being here today, Kasim. No problem. Thank you for <laughs> bringing me in. <laughs> No problem. So a couple of years ago, I believe 2018, I did a video with another friend from Mauritius um, where we did talk about uh, Mauritian Creole. He taught me some of the things as well. And we went a bit more in depth because it was a new country that I was introducing on my channel. So we talked about the people, language, things like that. For today's video, because I did promise this a couple of years ago, we are going to be comparing Haitian Creole with Mauritian Creole. And this is where Kasum comes in because I don't know anything about all of this. So she's going to really help to break it down as much as she can for us. Um, so I'm just going to give her the floor. Um, so Kasum, for those of us who don't really know about Mauritian Creole, what can you really tell us about the language, where it started and where it is today? Um, so it really started uh, when Mauritius was a French colony. And they brought in slaves from all around Africa and Madagascar to Mauritius um, in order to work in the plantations. So then uh, they had to find a... Com they didn't have any common language because there were very, very few French settlers and majority were slaves, right? So mm -hmm. they had to find uh, this a language in order to be able to communicate with each other. So that's how um, Creole was created. And uh, from then onwards, it really evolved because um, after the French settlers, British settlers came in, and by that time, Creole was very firmly established uh, in Mauritius and that was the language that they kept using even after the British settlers mm. left. And uh, from, I mean, the Indian indentured laborers were brought in too after the abolition of slavery. Okay. So they also used the same language and really, and that, that became like the, our mother tongue, really. That's what mm. everybody would use on a daily basis i mean speaking to your family that was the main language we would use to communicate to each other even though there is english and french that we learn at school um english is mostly used for administrational purposes and educational mm -hmm. purposes and french is used in the media and for speaking i mean it's a second language that we use for speaking um, but Creole is what we use primarily in our daily lives. Oh, okay, yeah. awesome. So I know you mentioned, you know, different groups who have came in over the years. So what are some of the other, um, like, I guess, languages that you could say are a part that make up, you know, Mauritian Creole today? Yeah, so the other languages that have influenced Creole would be, I would say, Hindi for sure, mm -hmm. Bhojpuri, uh, Telugu, Tamil, Urdu, Arabic, um, what else I would say, Mandarin as well. There mm. are so many other languages because people have come from all over the world and we have sort of created this, um, you know, it's such a multicultural uh, island. Mm -hmm. There are people from all around the world and Creole has essentially become this language that has a little bit of every Everything. culture yeah in it. yeah so it's kind of like uh this how do i do you know have you eaten biryani are um <laughs> melting pot as they like to call yeah, it yeah like you know it's, it's like this um like all one the pot different meal. <laughs> one pot meal like everything yeah. is in there yeah that's how i would call it yeah awesome yeah. cool so there are so many words that we use that 
I mean, the, the origin of those words come from other languages, but we speak it in Creole, you know, so gotcha. that's how Creole started. And that's what it is now. It's, it's, it's been a, a, a long, I mean, it's been an evolution, really. Yeah. It, the Creole that we speak now is not the Creole that we used to speak years and years ago. And also Creole is, how do I say it? Um, I'm going to speak from my experience, from what I've been exposed to. Um, every person has their own way of speaking Creole, their own way of writing Creole. It's not like this. You know, when you learn English, you learn French in school, you mm -hmm. learn this one way of writing, you learn the proper grammar, vocabulary and everything, uh, verbs, tenses. But uh, I mean, there's only really there's only one way of speaking Creole, but we all have our own touch to it, mm -hmm. you know, like every person will speak it in their own way. There, gotcha. it's, it's weird because like not from all the people I've met, like not everybody, we don't all speak the same Creole. We all have our own styles to it. Got you. Would that be affected be. based on where you live in Mauritius? It would. It ah. would. I would be for sure like people from the north, from the south, east, west, like even from the central region. We all have different ways of speaking Creole. It does have its uh, grammar, proper grammar and phonology, um, but not everyone knows it. So mm -hmm. we really just speak it the way we know it or write it the way we know it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, I will be honest in saying I don't really know that much about Haitian Creole, like the backstory of it. If I'm being honest, I will just link a video for everyone to go watch if you want to know the true in-depth. Um, there are two lovely videos you can watch. The link will be in the description box. For the most part, what I know is very similar to Mauritian Creole history as well, where um, Haiti was, you know, colonized by the French at one point. The slaves had to develop a language where they could communicate. Um, however, I do notice that most of their lexicon and stuff like that is French-based, as some of the language um, words in French would be used the same in Haitian Creole. They also have influence of English. They have influence of some of the African languages because as you mentioned they came from different parts of Africa they had to come together and you know have a common language so they're very, very similar in that way so I won't even try and do anything extra because that's all I really know people and I know how to help myself in speaking it out onto my guy but one um, three takeaways I want everyone to also know in terms of the differences between Haitian Creole and Mauritian Creole is firstly um, Haitian Creole is an official language in Haiti alongside French, whereas in Mauritius, it is um, Mauritian Creole is a common language that's spoken, but it's not recognized as being what they would say official per se. Um, the other thing is in terms of the spelling structure, I did notice the information I read, it said for Haitian Creole, it's very consistent and regular across the board in all their publications, whereas for Mauritian Creole, it can differ like spelling and stuff like that. But, you know, it is a language. It is a recognizable language, too. Um, what was the last thing that I learned Oh, the meaning of French words, apparently in Mauritian Creole, like um, they're French words that you guys would have different meanings for. Whereas in Haitian Creole, they would take the French word and still have it meaning whatever it means in French. The word that I saw as an example was the word to gain or to win in French. So you guys... To win in French. Okay, gagner. Yeah, so what, no, it's... How do you spell it? It's G something... Yeah, gagné. Gain, yes. Win. Gain, yes. Yes. Yeah. And for you, so. it's to give or something like that? Wait. Oh, yeah. So, gagné in Creole means to, I mean, you receive. To get. Yes. Yeah. To yeah. Get. You, get, yeah. you get something. So. Yeah. And yeah, the French I mean, translation is actually to win or to gain or something yeah. like that. Oh, so I that never really thought of it in that yeah. way. I never, now, that I, now, now that you're saying it, it's. It's, it's interesting yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um yeah. now to the the the, the, the juicy part <laughs> okay, okay. Let us test our skills um so for us to really understand and see the differences we're going to be first looking at personal pronouns so okay. i'll go first with what it is in haitian creole and then you will demonstrate for us in mauritian french 
Why do I keep saying Mauritian French girl? It's Mauritian Creole, Maggie. Get it together. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I is moi, you is u, um, he, she, or it is li, you is um yo, apparently. Okay. Like for girl. Um we is nu. That's what I remember for personal pronouns. So moi, okay. u, li, nu, yo. Oh wow, that is super, super, <laughs> super close. That, that is actually is close? really close to what we okay, so me, I mean I is mo. Okay. Your yours is moi. Moi? Yeah. Okay. I is mo. And what else do we have after? I, she, he. That would be Li. Okay. Li. You have yours is Li too, right? Yeah. Li. Um, what else do we have after? They? Um we. We, yeah, new. We is new. Oh, okay. So same for us. Okay, we is new. Um, they, you had they as well, right? Zut. I think I got everything. It. Did we get it? I think it is Lee as well. Yeah. What it? Uh, Lee is it? Would it be Lee as well? Where is it? How do you where say is where it? is it? Oh no! Then yeah. Okay, Lee. Good Lee. Lee? Okay, good Lee. How do yeah, you say it? Which is weird. Li, could li ete. Could li ete. For us, it's koteli. Koteli? What? That is so <laughs> close. That is like really, really close. <laughs> okay, so it's not as different as I thought. Like, possessive pronouns. So if I was to say my brother, um, I would say frem or fremwe. Yeah. yeah, because you have moi. Moi means yeah. you, right? Okay, yeah. so my, my for me, it would be mo frère. Okay. So the, you see the frère is there. Frère, the frère which is, is French. There. Frère comes from the French, Bro- French word for brother. brother yeah. Frère. And then you say frère moi? Yeah, or frère. So you put your pronoun... After, After the word, yeah, and you have oh, yours before. Before, yeah, okay. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> Past tense. So if I want to say I spoke to um, Kusum, moi te parle avec Kusum. Okay. <laughs> For us, it'd just be moti. T means uh, just by putting T in front oh. of the verb, moti goes avec Maggie. Okay. Oh, so avec you Maggie. guys talk is cause? Is that it? Yeah, cause. Gotcha. Cause and avec... then in Haitian crew, like for them, pal, pali. Like, so, oh, okay. They took the French version, right? Instead of. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, salutations. Okay. Um, so, how we say, like, hello, pretty, bonjour. Uh, Bonjour. <laughs> bonjour. Okay, so different pronunciation. Um, you said was, bonjour? Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, it's, that's like the proper French way. Bonjour. That, <laughs> yeah. what I mean. <laughs> um, um, for how's it going? Um, Sac passé. Oh, so, okay. So in French, it's comment ça se passe? Comment ça va? Mm-hmm. Comment ça va? And you said? Sac passé. Comment ça passé? Okay, and for us it'd be. Wait, what are we translating again? How um, how are how's you? How's it going? How's it going? Kimanier. Kimanier. Okay, because I remember Kimanier. Adnan said that. Yeah. Kimanier can mean Kimanier. so many things. How how are you? How's it going? What's going on? Literally like, the what's same up? thing for him. Yeah. Simple. Like if someone asks you sat passé, they could be asking you how are you doing? What's going on? Like literally any one of those. Yeah, <laughs> like so many things. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll do two more. How do you say my name is Kusum? M'appelle Kusum. Huh? M'appelle Kusum. Okay, so then in Haitian Creole, it's you could say it either like two names, two ways. So, oh, yeah. Mwelele Maggie or Nom Mwe Se Maggie. Okay, yeah, th- that would be two ways. I'm like, je m'appelle Kusum, m'appelle Kusum, or oh. my name is Kusum, mon nom c'est Kusum. Okay, so it's there would be two that. ways too. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. sweet. Um, and then the last one, how would you say, I don't know? Pas connu, mot pas connu. 
Mpako ne. What about you? Mpako ne. No! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Mpako ne. I don't have to say mo. I can just say Mpako ne. Me too. Oh, okay. I could say Mpako ne. Yeah, I, I don't have to use the pronoun. I think the difference that I saw would be the spelling. That's the oh, only thing I know. The yeah. Spelling. Okay. So I'll definitely have it up on the screen. So before we go, we're gonna see how well both of us can understand what the other is saying. So I'm gonna say something in Haitian Creole. You're gonna see if you can figure out what I'm saying, and then the same for you. Okay. Okay. Après ça, on peut dormir. After this, you're going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because that's how I would say it too. Après ça, mon poil dormi. That's how oh, I would say it. How okay, you say so it? how did you say it? Um, après ça, mon poil dormi. Après ça, mon poil dormi. Pour moi. Oh, so your did you say mon poil dormi? Mon poil. Mon poil dormi. Okay. Mm. Me, the only difference would be I would say mon poil dormi. Oh, I say okay. the mo. Our pronoun is very very different. Yeah, so very, we are the pun and yeah, yeah, mo. Yeah, mo. Okay, yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah, mo chal bazo. Menas de carrot. Do you get anything? Not even one word. No, I thought bazo. No, it's bazo. I like. Where's bazo? I told you I was not going to get it. Okay, let me say something else. La vie qui dit. Uh... La vie. That's too. That's too. That's too. No, that's too Mauritian. I think I should say. <laughs> what does it mean else. though? Uh, how's life? Oh, see, I I would never get that. Yeah, that's true. Okay, then um, I should have thought of sentences. I don't I'm think I should I be can't... getting it though. That's the point. <laughs> you're not. You're not supposed to. <laughs> Uh, maybe mine was fear. too okay. easy. Let me let me use like very simple sentences. Qui te peut faire? Qui te peut faire? Okay, te so te what is happening? What happened? Like, I actually. What said, are you doing? What are you doing? Yes, I said. Hey. What are you doing? You got it. Okay, yeah, you got the what? Qui? Yeah, qui? Yeah, yeah that, that's that's what helped. Me out. Yeah, cool, cool. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Well, evidence, y'all. We're 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 definitely <laughs> cousins or something of some sorts because we can kind of understand, you yeah. know, each other to some degree. But and the fact that it's French based, yes, it makes it really a bit easier. To, yeah, yeah, a bit easier. Thank awesome. you so much for doing this with me, Kasum. No thanks. That was awesome. It was a lot of. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was really interesting. I didn't I didn't expect to hear so many similarities. So that was me cool. either. Like honestly, when I wrote down the words, I was like, okay, not too much the same. But then when we're speaking, I'm like, okay, it's just different spelling. They're definitely very, very similar. So that's yeah. cool. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you to my viewers. Again, please leave a comment, subscribe, and share the video. Come on, let help your girl out with the algorithm on YouTube if you like the video. And we will see you in the next video. Don't forget to do road and the things. And until next time, Maggie is out. <laughs> If you love that video, then you will love the rest of the videos in the Fida Culture playlist. So click here to watch now. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to support us with a little extra, then you can support us through our Patreon today. Thank you for watching.